What's going on guys, Mr. Wheels here again, bringing you another episode of Sports Talk. The topic tonight, Alan Iverson, if you haven't heard already, Alan Iverson recently retired from the NBA, and I just want to share my thoughts on Iverson and how I remember him, and it's different compared to the way the media and other NBA fans probably think of Iverson. Uh, most notably, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the way Iverson played in the 2001 playoffs, eventually making it to the finals against the LA Lakers. I, what stands out uh, to me in, in the 2001 season uh, with Iverson in the 76ers is uh, the, the playoff series against the Raptors. Now, in that series, uh, Iverson had three games in which he scored 50 or more points and they eventually beat the Raptors in seven games. Now, up to that point, before 2001, the, the Sixers had been defeated uh, twice in a row by Reggie Miller and the Indiana Pacers and Iverson and Coach Larry Brown had uh, a lot of differences and, and they just really put it all together, put their differences aside and, and really work together in 2001 uh, to eventually make it to the finals, but they ran into Kobe and Shaq, and I mean, the rest is history. Nobody was stopping Kobe and Shaq back in the early 2000s. It just wasn't going to happen. But um, that was really, 2001 was really the first time I had really, uh, as a basketball fan, I'd really paid attention to Allen Iverson. And he didn't disappoint me. I thought uh, from that point on, I I thought he's been a great basketball player, even um, at the later points in his career. And the I think a lot of the um, hype with Iverson is the way that he's portrayed in the media. A lot of uh, media personalities don't like him, and and they're quick to point out that you know he's a selfish player and. Um, he has very colorful interviews and, uh, you know, will tell you the truth and he'll do it in a way that most people don't like and he's not a, he doesn't have a clean cut image and he's a bit of a badass and all, all that sort of thing, but I'm more interested in his play on the court and, I mean, his numbers speak for themselves. He, um, in his regular season career in, the, in 17 seasons in the NBA, um, his regular season numbers were 26.7 points per game, and in the playoffs he was even better. He scored uh, just under 30 point, or average just under 30 points a game, and um, you know regular season his numbers were um, you know five times he had more than uh, he averaged more than 30 points. Um, again in five of his 17 seasons and his playoff numbers were were even better and um, you know all -Star, the All-Star games he played in he was a nine-time All-Star and one-time MVP and he even averaged um, double figures in all, uh, nine of his All-Star games in fact he was um, he averaged double figures in all 17 um uh, seasons he played in the NBA and you know he will most notably be remembered for his first go round in Philly um, and obviously making it into the finals in 2001 but what we can't forget is how tough the guy was he he would get clobbered by seven foot guys and get right back up and come right back on the floor and charge at them again and I, I think he He's, you know, underappreciated for that aspect of his game, and most people pay attention to, uh, you know, his drop-off later in his career and all the stuff in the media, and I just want to um, give him some credit and, you know, say I think he was a great player. Um, and, uh, you know, he's one of the best shooting guards of all time, probably could be in their top five, um, at least top 10 and you know I 
I, for one, am going to miss him um, in the NBA and have up to this point. And I would just like to say that, you know, people shouldn't listen to everything they hear in the media um, about professional athletes because when it comes to Iverson, you know, he was a great on the on the court, and that's all that matters. So um, we should remember him for that. So that's all I got, guys. Slap the like button. Um, subscribe if you like to. And tell me what you think. Talk to you later.